Hey everybody, it's Carrie, and I'm back with another video, and this is a video request from Miss Nell Doctor. Thank you so much, Ashley, for the requested video, and before I get started with her video, I want to give her a shout out. I am going to be linking her Instagram page below and her blog below. If you guys don't mind, go check it out. I am just going to say, I am jealous of her Instagram page. It is that amazing. She is so, so cute. She has wonderful taste in clothing, and I just love her Instagram page. And I just like to go in there and like some videos. I'll do that randomly. <laughs> and just go check it out if you guys don't mind. And she gave me a really good topic uh, for a video to do, and that is Lush products that are worth the price. I'm going to tell you, Lush is pricey. They are expensive on a lot of their items, so... It is a judgment call on picking some of the stuff. You may not like it. So what I would suggest to do is instead of arbitrarily just going out and buying all kinds of Lush products, spending lots and lots of money, not sure if you're going to like something or not, I would recommend that you go purchase one of their gift boxes. You get like sample size items and some of those gift box prices are priced about the same price as one of these other items that I'm going to be showing you and you get more things to use so I suggest you do that and um, see what you like from that and if you do really like something go back and purchase the full size so I'm going to be showing you some things that I really enjoy that I would repurchase and for me personally they were worth for the price for somebody else maybe not okay and again leave me a comment below tell me what you like from there or what you want to try and what you think about Lush I personally like them but I will say some of the stuff is hit or miss. Some of the stuff I have not liked whatsoever. It was not worth the price, and I will tell you that at the end if I remember. Some of the stuff I think has been great. Some of the stuff is gimmicky and not worth it. Um, overall, I think they're a great company. I like the products. Um, however, I do think you can go buy equivalents to these items for a much more cheaper price elsewhere but it's what you make out of it they are i think all their hand all their items are handmade and there's no animal testing so i think that's amazing and let's get started with these things before i just keep rambling okay no particular order whatsoever one of my most favorite products i think from lush is the lemony flutter cuticle butter i am really liking this product and i did a review of it I enjoy it and you don't have to just use it on your fingers okay you can use it on any other dry spots and I really like it it smells great I think it does really well on my cuticles and nails and I think this one is definitely worth the price oh by the way I will link the prices below so you guys can see them because I didn't look them up beforehand what a shock <laughs> another item that I am really really liking and it's got dust on it I've had it for a little bit this is the Popcorn Lip Scrub. I have all three of their lip scrubs. I think, honestly, the Popcorn is my most favorite one. If you were going to pick just one of the lip scrubs, I say go for this one. It, or if you prefer the minty one, the mint juleps, go for that one. It's just personal preference. I like them both. This one edges the mint juleps out just a little bit. I have the bubblegum one. Not a huge fan of the bubblegum one. Just going to say. Okay. But if you're interested in a lip scrub, I definitely think this is worth the price of the lip scrubs. There are lots of different lip scrubs out there. I know Bite Beauty has one. Bite Beauty is more expensive than the Lush one, and I think the Lush actually does a better job of exfoliating your lips. Okay, I can't show you the entirety of this item because I've been using it. And this is the, let me just hold it up like this. This is the Granny Takes a Dip Bath Bomb. It was um, about, I've already used a couple of times, so this is maybe two, no, more than a third of the size, but not quite half. <laughs> and what I did was just break it up. I don't see any sense in using an entire bath bomb in one bath. I think that's just wasting my product that I purchased. And again, they ain't cheap, so break them up. I, of all the bath bombs that I use, I'm going to say this one is probably my most favorite one. I did really, really like the golden egg that came out at Easter, but that one was limited edition. You, you can still get this one. I really do like one. And if you're wanting to try one bath bomb, this is the one I would suggest you try. Again, it's personal preference, though. It's what you like. 
Okay, this is an item that I have already repurchased, and this is Shimmy Shimmy. It is, I think it's labeled as a massage bar or something like that. I'm not really sure. It's got, I just, you know, rub it on my skin and it leaves a nice shimmer behind. And you guys know I love a shimmer. Yes, I do. So um, I definitely recommend the Shimmy Shimmy. It smells really good too. Right now though, I've got that Granny Takes a Dip and the scents are mixing on me and it's hard to ascertain what that actually scent is. But I want to say, I just can't remember what it is right now. Okay, let me, some of this stuff creeped around behind me and I was having to turn way around. These are two things that they kind of market to go hand in hand. It's the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub and the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Now, I started using this before, the Rose Argan, before I used the Ocean Salt. I really like both of these. They are pricey. I would suggest before you make a commitment to either one of these is to actually go in the store have them uh, do the ocean salt first and then do some or rub some of this on your hands. See what you think. I really enjoy them. I am loving the ocean salt. I noticed an immediate difference when they tried this on my hand in the store. I highly recommend it. It is pricey again. If you are just wanting a face and body scrub and you don't want to pay a lot of money for it, don't go to Lush, okay? Because it is pricey. But I really did notice a difference and this is if you are wanting to buy a Lush product what I would recommend again it's personal preference uh, leave a comment below saying what your favorite item is that you think is worth the price so and then the Rose Argan body conditioner they have another body conditioner I think it's called African Paradise that thing to me really had a terrible scent some people are loving that one. Again, it's just personal preference scent-wise. So if you don't like the smell of roses, this is highly, highly scented of roses. Try the other one. Me personally, I love the scent of roses and really dislike the scent of the African Paradise, but it's personal preference. Just go what you want. So I do recommend both of these, and I think they are worth the price at Lush. But again, I thought I would wear the Carpe Diem Seize the Day shirt for this video and also remember caveat mTOR buyer beware okay um, I don't want you to go out and buy all of this stuff and said Carrie said it was the best stuff and then get home and think oh my goodness I hate this stuff again I'm rambling okay this is a honorable mention I have only used it twice so I'm not going to say run out and try this but I have used it twice and I am loving this item so far. It is the Big Sea Salt Shampoo. Again, it's pricey and it's really, really strange looking. I want to use it some more before I get to an in-depth review. I've never seen a shampoo look like this before, but I, I am really enjoying this so far and thought I would give it an honorable mention as a favorite item so far. And... Um, I'll talk more about this one later, but if you're looking for a volumizing shampoo that also does clarifying, hair clarifying, it's supposed to get all the, all the junk out of your hair products out of your hair and give you a little bit of volume. I haven't noticed a massive amount of volume, but it does give me a little bit of volume. So I thought I'd give that one an honorable mention. And some products that I think that are not worth purchasing, number one was the Defluff Shaving Soap, the strawberry one not worth the price at all. I probably was using it wrong. I was told you need to lather it in your hands first or something like that. I lost so much of that product. It didn't really smell like strawberries. I would say stay away from the defluff unless you just want to try it then go for it. Some of their also their um, lip balms. I didn't really think the lip balm was worth it. I bought the chocolate one to go hand in hand with the mint juleps because that's what they recommend. It's nice, but I wouldn't bother. I, I would not repurchase a lip balm. It's nice, but again, you know, it's just not something I would repurchase. Some of their other bath bombs were okay. The bath melts are okay. I like the scent of them. Again, it's personal preference, and I'm going to continue to say that. It's what you like, but I just wanted to show you some of the items that I personally think that are worth the price myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, guys.